recording a third video in a row. And I am looking at yet another Dungeon Crawl Classics Dying Earth module. This time it is the Great Visp Hunt, a level two adventure by Julian Burnick. Julian Burnick. Hopefully I'm saying the name correctly. Uh, I will do as I normally try to do and show the back with as little glare and in focus as I can, if you would like to read it. I will also not show the first page or the inside cover. Introduction. We have... Da -da 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 -da. The Great Visp Hunt is a wilderness adventure for four to five second level characters that can take place in most parts of the dying earth. It should serve as a standalone adventure session, but could be woven into a group's travels into a my goodness into a group's travels toward another campaign goal or away from offended parties in their last adventure. The adventure covers the group's mo the group's motive to engage. I just had to reread that sentence. I didn't think I was reading it correctly, but I was. The adventure covers the group's motive to engage in the hunt. Sundry adventures on the way to the denouement uh, and may provide surviving PCs with a motivation to visit their sentiments upon a pair of magicians who have duped them. Oh, okay, that is almost a Bansian sentence in its unnecessary complexities. Uh, all right, There's some cool art, more of the Bansian glossary, Dramatis Personae, we've come to expect. Uh, well, I mean, that's a map. Uh, not the most intricate one I've ever seen, but it is a map. Here we go. This is something a little more, uh, a little more substantive. So we have, you know, some maps, a few locations here. As mentioned, it was apparently a wilderness scenario. We have another one of these centerfolds. All right, so the maps in this are fairly simple. This does look very short. Uh, oh my goodness, 11 pages. Yeah, this is possibly the shortest one I've seen. And we have an anatomy of a visp. That's really cool. I really like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Part of me wants to photocopy that, weather it, and make it into like a handout that some crazy wizard has or something. Very cool. I like that quite a bit. Anyhow. Um, honestly, I might just do that for, you know, just to have as a random thing somebody finds. Maybe stuff it into a page of the uh, guide to Hot Springs Island or something like that. Yeah. The more, more I'm thinking about it, the more I like that. Anyway, there we go. The Great Visp Hunt. Wonderful. And I think that's it for me for Dungeon Crawl Classics Dying Earth at this time. Uh, I just uh, happened to find, as I just recorded videos for three in a row, I found three of them very inexpensive and was able to acquire them. That makes that brings me up to five of the modules that were done for the Dying Earth. Um, considering I haven't read any of them yet, I don't know that I need to get more, but we'll see. Uh, I'm not even sure how many they've done. I, I feel like it was close to like, it was like ten or twelve or something like that. But they're not always the easiest things to get a hold of, unless I suppose I try to buy direct from Goodman Games, which I don't do very often because their shipping I find tends to be pretty extreme. Uh, but, say lovey. Uh, until next time, if you've enjoyed any of my content, do please check the links below where you can support the channel in any way that you see fit. And of course, a like and a subscribe would always be appreciated. Until next time, take care.